Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 66. This is the third part in the Picking an Object series, and we're going to go ahead and just get on with it. So let me move this out of the way, and let's jump right in. So if you recall from the last episode, we were picking an object, and I've just changed the colors here, and it was working, um, but the main problem was the fact that when we were rotating here, um, now our animation's kind of messed up. So you can see we have this thing, and so uh, what we need to do is we basically cleared uh, earlier so that uh, we were able to click and have it uh, show up without changing the color. Um, so if we go ahead and clear this out now and we uh, remove that and we clear later, we'll see that we now have the animation working, but now we have the red back. And that's, you know, that's a problem for us. And so um, what we had decided to do uh, for that it to make it still work and um, let me just jump back really fast before we get right into the uh, what's going to happen here is so we, we've created our cube here and I've added this uh, additional attribute called a cell cell color this is going to be if it's selected it's going to draw red in this instance so it's normally torque turquoise and draws red all right so that's used with the uh, stride and attribute offsets as before and I've initialized state, basically just moved a bunch of this stuff out. So it's only happening once now instead of happening every animation frame. But like I said, we're drawing now and we are clicking and it's red. Um, obviously the logic is off, it says it's selected here. But um, disregard that for a moment. But when we're drawing, we want to clear and we want to have this select. So here's the uh, attributes uh, with the offset of 8 now. Um, so what can we do? Um, to make sure that this works right. Well, it's really, really simple. Basically, as soon as we have done the mouse clicked, we just want to draw, and then we want to have to set the state to being unclicked as soon as afterwards, and the animation is going to take care of the fact that it is now uh, not cleared. Uh, so we can do actually draw again if we don't want to wait for the animation. So now if we refresh and we click, you can see it doesn't draw it, but uh, now it does select with red here. Um, so you can see the red is the first variable. So let's could change this logic back to be um, 255, clear it out. And you can see we are not selecting red. If, however, we did not draw it, you'll still see we are drawing, but we're selecting this turquoise color. So very note that we want to say it's clicked. We want to draw it really quick. Go ahead and select the colors from the drawn as the drawn version, and then change it back right away. So that's a really uh, interesting little trick that you can do, so that we're drawing here, we're setting the colors in the vertex shader to this selection color, and then we're going to go ahead read those pixels, and then set it to off, and then basically redraw and rely on the animation state. We can also go some do something like this if we don't want to rely on the animation state. Um, but either way, that's uh, a really interesting little trick that you have to uh, get around it. So um, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, uh, like this video, share on social media if you will. Go to programmingtil.com, sign up for my newsletter, follow me on Twitter and social medias and all those things. And uh, have a great one, and I'll talk to you guys soon.